Liberty Sports Cards back here again with another episode of Through the Mail Autographs. This is episode number nine, so let's go ahead and get started. First of all, we've got Otto Moore. He signed three of three, took a week, and he signed a 75 tops, a 72 tops, and then the 1970 tops tall boy. He also included a signed photograph, so it was nice of him to do that. Appreciate it. Next, we've got... Austin Carr, he signed two of two. This is his 1972 Tops rookie. He was a great college player, really good NBA player. Played for the University of Notre Dame. Next, we've got Lenny Moore. Lenny Moore charges $5 a card. This is a 59 Tops. I believe this is a 61 Tops. I get my football years mixed up. Um, but I always try to write to him when I find cards, like to support these guys, you know, and they didn't make a lot of money back in the day. So I always like to send them a little bit of money and help support them. He's got to be around 85 at this point. Tommy Helms signed two of two. This is a 1969 Tops Deckel Edge and a 68 Tops. He took a week, signed two of two. So we got Ken McKenzie next. He took a week as well. He signed two of two. This is a 61 tops and a 62 tops. So I've got a bunch of minor league cards from the 80s and 70s. So I'm going to try to get a bunch of those guys out, show you guys some kind of different stuff. Here we got a 1983 Iowa Cubs TCMA card. This is Alan Hargesheimer. Pretty hard to pronounce that last name. So he, he signed two of two. He took a week. I always kind of like to write to these guys because a lot of them will respond to your questionnaires, your letters, and they have some kind of interesting answers. A lot of the guys either didn't make it or they just made it for a short time. So if you ask them maybe what their most memorable moment is, a lot of times it'll be their first hit you know, or their first home run, something like that. Fritz Connolly signed two of two. He took five days. And this set has the first Joe Carter minor league card in it. So I've got a couple of those. Next, we've got Jay Laviglio. He played in the majors as well. All these guys played in the majors. He signed one of two. He kept one of the cards. He responded to my letter. And that will happen as well. If you're sending multiple cards to some of these guys, these minor league cards, they will keep, keep them a lot of times because it is hard to find these cards and they probably don't have them. Next, we've got Hall of Famer. This is Goose Gossage. This is his rookie card, 1973 Tops. So he signs through the mail for $10. So anytime I pick up his rookie, I generally try to just get it off to him for $10. Bucks. You can't beat that. And the final one we have here is a Steve Largent. He's also signing for $10. And this is his rookie card as well, 1977 Tops. And you can find these for around 20 bucks at a show. And I just picked this one up. And with the idea of writing to him. So that's one of my big things I like to collect is Hall of Fame rookie cards signed. So anything I get at a show is generally I'm trying to get autographed for my own personal collection. So that's it, guys. I'll have a lot more of these videos coming up. I'm getting a whole bunch of guys written to. Like I said, I'm going to try to get, I've got a bunch of 70s and 80s of these kind of cards you know, kind of obscure guys that I'm going to try to write to. And a lot of them are kind of hard to find their addresses. And then as well, I'm going to try to get out some basketball and vintage football as well. So I got a bunch of 70s football cards that I'm going to try to get. So stay tuned for those guys. I should have quite a few returns coming up here. And so I'll be making a lot more videos. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. And stay tuned.